I've always loved uh, models and, you know, these miniature representations of, of life. For me, there were always there was something more than a toy, than a toy aspect to them. And there were, it was always a possibility of, you know, like looking at dioramas, it's like creating a three-dimensional photograph in some way of, a, of, a, of an existence that really isn't. is based on it's based on this character that I was that I was working with at the time who's you know a segment of timeline into like the grand epic of existence that I that I've been working on for the last 15 years and it's you know post-apocalyptic and he's the sole survivor waking up with amnesia from you know some natural disaster that has happened and um, he creates these scenarios of uh, you know mechanical mantras almost like taking you know func functional objects that exist from humanity and turning them into this repetitive mantra that he leaves behind that just runs itself basically is void of all of all like human existence and he leaves these these functioning things behind as like a trail of like a breadcrumb trail for other possible survivors of the apocalypse as he like roams the earth somebody walks into an installation or sees a, a work of mine on the wall I want to remove them from themselves for, for that one moment you know however long it may be like forget about you know your telephone forget about your kids forget about the bank forget about everything like you just forget about you for that as long as it may be and if it functions amazing if it doesn't like you know I'll try again but that's really like what my in a way, what, what I would like for people to walk away with is just to be fully immersed into something. Mm -hmm.